What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's doing good today. If it sounds like I'm talking weird, I do apologize. I've been dealing with a couple sores, you know, canker sores that are right underneath my teeth and it's been uh, making it hard for me to eat and, you know, a little hard for me to speak straight. So if I sound like I'm speaking gibberish or anything like that, I apologize. If you see a light behind me that looks like it's changing colors, it's because I have a lamp set up behind me. I'm not going to look at it because, I mean, it's kind of a mess behind me. I've been working on cleaning this room up, or trying to make it clean anyways. But anyways, you know, there's a lot I want to talk about. But first, I want to talk about this subject that I heard about earlier that really got me fucking pissed off and i apologize about my language but let me tell you this right here got me so freaking heated it's not even funny now look right now i do apologize for being super political about this subject but these are things i'm gonna say because this issue was politically motivated and i'm gonna talk about it so some of you that are watching this video may have heard about this situation, but for those of you that haven't heard about it, I'm going to talk about it right now. So there was this guy, his name was Shannon Brandt, I believe they said he was 41 years old. Shannon thought it was a great idea to ram his car into an 18 year old, all because he said that... He was a conservative. The person that was killed, his name was Kaylor Ellingson. Hopefully I said that correctly. If I didn't, I apologize. Mind you, Kaylor was only 18 years old. The guy that killed him was in his 40s. And that guy that killed him only did it all because... That 18 year old said that he was a conservative. Shannon only killed Kaler all because he claimed that Kaler was a Republican extremist. Can you believe that shit? And the sad thing is, since the guy that killed Kaler was a liberal, and Kaler was a conservative. This isn't being brought up to the liberal media. But let me tell you something. If it was the other way around, a uh, conservative in his 40s killed an 18 year old that claimed he was liberal, this would be talked about on the media endlessly. CNN would be talking about it. The Young Turks would be talking about it. Hell, people like Stephen Colbert would probably be in his bed fucking crying his ass off, you know, claiming that liberals get treated like shit and so on and so forth. But no, since it was a liberal that killed an 18-year-old conservative, you're not going to hear a damn word about it. The only reason this is not being brought up on the media is because it was politically motivated. And look, don't get me wrong, even if it was the other way around, I'd still be pissed off because regardless of what somebody's political opinion is, it does not occur to me to hop in my truck and just ram the person. I would never do that. That is wrong. And if you're one of those people out there that think that this type of shit is okay all because somebody else has a difference in political opinions, you need to go eat a dick. Just saying. And you know, the sad thing is, is this happened a few weeks after idiot president of a pedophile, Joe Biden, thought it was okay to give out a diversive speech talking about how he th believes anybody that's a mega Republican or a conservative of some sort is part of the problem and they should be ashamed of themselves for blah 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 blah. Yeah, he doesn't say shit about 
the things he's done to this country. But hey, what more can you expect from a person like Joe Biden? Or Joe Bididiot, as I like to call that prick. Now look, I hate to be political about situations like this. Shit like this shouldn't even have anything to do with politics. But the fact that that 40-something-year-old liberal thought that it was okay to do that to an 18-year-old, that is just messed up. I mean, seriously, an 18-year-old? What the fuck? And the sad thing is, that Shannon Brandt isn't even getting that much or that harsh of a sentence. You know, the sad thing is, there are people out there that have defended themselves against criminals, and they take action against those criminals, either hurting or killing them, either with or without a gun. And those people, some of those people, end up getting a much harsher sentence. This man killed an 18-year-old for no reason other than the boy said that he was a Trump supporter. I'm sorry, but you know what? If I were the judge and I had to face that dude, I'd throw the book at that dude and tell him that he gets to face the rest of his life behind bars. You know, people like Shannon shouldn't even be allowed to walk free. That 18-year-old boy still had an entire life ahead of him. And his life had to be cut short all because of that idiot psychopath. I might have said this already in the video, but I'll say it again if I have it. Nobody should ever have to lose their life like that. All because they have a different opinion. Rather if it's political or not. This shit is just wrong, and there is no excuse for it. You know, it's pretty sad that people have gotten this insane over the fact that there are people out there that have difference in political opinions. And the sad thing is, you got people out there that think that this shit is okay. It's not okay. You know, it would be one thing if Kaler tried to do something against Shannon. Like, let's say Kaler tried to go up to Shannon with a gun or something and threaten him. And Shannon was trying to protect himself. But that's not the case at all. All that boy did was say that he was a Trump supporter. And Shannon took it upon himself to ram his car into that kid and kill him. Like I said, Shannon is just a piece of shit that needs to spend the rest of his fucking life in prison. That man should never in his life ever be able to walk free ever again. He doesn't deserve it. But with all that said, and I should have said this in the beginning of the video, and I apologize now for saying it, but, you know, my heart does go out to Taylor's family. He should have not have died. You know, my heart does go out to him and his family and his friends big time. You know, rest in peace to him. You know, I am praying for him and everybody that was close to him, you know. This is a messed up tragedy, you know. It really is, you know. Like I said, I would never wish this upon anybody, regardless of their political opinions. Rather, if I agree with it or not. And not only that, but I'm not trying to shame all liberals for this tragedy because I'm sure there are liberals out there that don't condone what Shannon did and you know I get it conservatives aren't the most perfect people out there okay I totally understand that now, I'm not saying 
liberals are the most important people out there either. But if having a difference in political opinion makes you want to do shit like this, I have no respect for you whatsoever. Just saying. But anyways, that's really all I gotta say for this video. I'm sure I piss a lot of people off for saying what I said, but you know what? I really don't care. If you have something you want to say to me, I'd like to hear you say something. If you do agree with what I'm saying, then feel free to like this video. Feel free to subscribe. You know, I do make a lot of videos like this, but, you know, this video, it was a pretty unfortunate subject to talk about, but I wanted to talk about this subject and say how I feel about it. That's really all I wanted to do. Again, rest in peace to Kaler's family. Or, K gosh dang it. I'm sorry, guys. It's getting late and I'm tired. But rest in peace to Kaler. And, you know, I am praying for his family and all of his friends. Hope everybody has a good day, good night, whenever you're watching this. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. Y'all have a great day.